Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Tanglewood on Nightmare. So we're going back to Tanglewood for the first time in forever, it feels like, and I'm so used to being on Tanglewood. It's weird going back, being so long. So, being gone so long. So, detect, firelight, and average sanity, surprisingly easy objectives. So, last time we were on Nightmare, I had some trouble with the Obake. This time I'm going in, I'm not using my headlamp, I w I'm gonna go in with a thermometer and not even the photo cam, just the EMF uh, bone right there. See, I do want see good photos, but I wanted to not go in with the photo cam this time, and of course I kind of like <laughs> instantly regret it. Okay, always go in with the photo cam for this reason. You're defending this bone, aren't you? Well, that's a general idea of where you are. Do I just go get my camera? I wanted to have a moment to like turn on the breaker and then I'll I'd look for the room with the thermometer but on these small maps you don't need to look for the room with the thermometer I guess. Point Hope has been pretty good for that. Well, breaker is going to be down here. Ghost is currently in the living room. Now that doesn't really mean that that's its room. There's a hiding spot down here. I guess I'll have to run to the basement if I need to. But this house is so small, the ghost room could be over there. Or anywhere else, really, nearby. Alright, breaker's on. Let me turn on some lights. Oh, I see my breath. But it's it's snowy, and that was another reason why I probably shouldn't, shouldn't have even bothered with the thermometer. But guess what? It's in here now. So I'm going to leave this stuff and go get evidence and just bring that in pretty quickly. But why not? Let me check some stuff back here. Music box again. Let's close it off. Now, music box isn't too helpful. It would have been if I had a... Uh, oh, perfect. This is the hiding spot of dreams. It would have been helpful if I had the photo objective, but I do not. Well, the breaker is on, so the rooms will be heating up. I want to get evidence, but yes, photo cam, please. And I'm going to put the book in there. Well, if it touches a door, I want to be able to look at the door, so we're just going to bring the glow stick in, even without the footprints, because if we get a door touch, that's another thing I want to be able to have in here. And I didn't need a photo of the ghost. But it's still nice to, like, capitalize when the ghost appears right away. Alright. I don't want to get caught off guard without... See? That's the thing about that event. Look at that photo. Maybe you are in here. Oh my god, why did you have to do that? Well, at least I can look for the ghost orbs, which we have. But, the, yeah, I can check the temperature. I mean, oh, whoa, that's freezing. It's under one. Holy crap, okay. Give me a minute here. So we know it's freezing. Again, we're on Nightmare, so we're only going to get two. I did take a photo, so we know it's not Phantom. Well, we know it's not Phantom anyway. Why? Why did you have to break out this one light that I really like? You just touched a door. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about this. No UV. But also... No EMF. Alright. See, it's all about just remembering everything you need to do here. And probably touch that through the wall. Okay, time for all sanity to go down the drain. But we got ghost orbs. So that's the problem. If it's a, if it's a mimic, that was a mimic ghost orbs. So we can't really go off this just yet. We still need to look for uh, UV, which we didn't get. And it just touched another door. And then... What is the... See, I just started remembering or learning. Oh my god, okay, it's touching every door. What are you doing back here? If we're not getting fingerprints, then it's not a mimic, which is huge. Well, see, that's the thing about a mimic on Nightmare. That's... Uh, this has tricked me before. So we still need to check for the other one, which is Spirit Box. Because it could be hiding the UV, correct. So we, we still need to check for Spirit Box if this is a mimic. But I'm going to go ahead and say with all these, there's no UV. Okay, thank you for that ghost event. I'm going to officially step outside and take sanity. Well, I'll grab the spirit box. Maybe just get two crucifixes in there to set up. I don't... I'm going to have to get down to pretty low sanity. I can use the music box to drain the sanity, though. Well, that's the thing. Getting hunted obviously will help me determine what this is. And we can do the Onryo test, which I guess I'll need to, like, do. Uh... I really should just get hunted and see if it's a revenant or a hantu. Okay, before we start getting crucifixes in here, and I don't know. If, oh, there we go. There. <laughs> I'm gonna put these up. I'm gonna get smudges in there just for my own safety, and either get hunted first, or maybe get lucky with this spirit box. 
Now, I guess I'm going to drop one here. Here's my light. So I got spirit box and my smudge and my lighter ready. Now, the thing about this ghost room is you broke out the light. Is this a mimic? Are you a mimic? Are you here? Are you friendly? I shouldn't get caught in a corner there. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you here? I'm, it's With my luck, it's a mimic, but maybe this time it's actually not a mimic. This is why I'm kind of draining my sanity. I should go turn the breaker back on, but Revenant and Hantu are going to be pretty obvious hunts here. Thought maybe the breaker wasn't actually on. I'm just like talking to the spirit box as I'm going here. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Now the thing is, if I look and the ghost orbs are still here, that's a good sign that it's not a mimic because the ghost orbs are staying in one room. Hmm. Alright. Guess I'm just gonna get hunted here. Now, yeah, I got the bone. The problem, this ghost, like, I'm gonna have to get footprints, which we don't have UV, but I could get the, you know, the disturbed salt photos and crucifix photos, so maybe that's where I'm gonna be getting photos this game. Are you here? Are you friendly? I did take sanity, so I guess my sanity is a little higher. Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you here? Are you friendly? So, I wasn't really seeing my breath. Are we still in here, ghost? Oh, whoa, we really are in here. That's some casual flashing. I hate. <laughs> These ghosts have been breaking out the light so much. This is why we need a spotlight, so that way if the ghost breaks out a light, you can set a spotlight up in here. And then the ghost could, like, knock it over. Well, nothing left to do other than to really get hunted. Motion sensor, firelight. Okay, I... <laughs> You saw that. What was that? You're gonna... You're only gonna be able to see that at like 60 FPS, but... The ghost appeared there for a very split second, and I'm not sure what the hell that was about. I saw that, and it was like a split ghost event. I wonder if it like drained my sanity doing that. I need to have my smudge out. Cause I was expecting something like that to happen. Where are you, in the basement? <laughs> oh, that is awful. But, I will have you drain my sanity. I saw a snowflake go down there. I need to get hunted here. One, to get in hunt range, and just to see if this is a Revenant or Ure. And then maybe at the end I'll have to farm photos. I do need the motion sensor. But I'm at the point where, like, let's just get hunted here and figure out if this is a Revenant. I did not get the UV or the spirit box. So I do think it's one of these four ghosts, and not a mimic again. I don't know what happened there when I was getting so many mimics. I, I don't want to use the music box just yet. I will at the end, maybe. Give us a sign. Who is this ghost? Edie Holland. Are you here? Are you related to Tom Holland? Oh, see, that is a nice camera, and you had no problem throwing that twice. You are right here, and if you're having an effect on my sanity, well, the year eight, I, the gin's the one that'll drain you twenty randomly. The year a, uh, I still need to remember. I just looked into this, but I'll remember what the year a specifically does. Okay. This is the worst though, once you have to like, I'm trying to wait for a natural hunt rather than, you know, forcing the cursed hunts. I want to have more time before, you know, dealing with a cursed hunt every time I get hunted. This could be a revenant though, like that's why I wanted to do this first, was it's either, it could be a revenant or hantu. Those are two ghosts that are easy to identify. And then we can just start trying to do the like on Rio test. But even this area is so big. The ghost has been in here. Do I have an empty slot? I do. Yeah, see, ghost orbs are still in here and freezing still in here, so... Really? Here we go. 
Uh, that's like totally normal speed, so unless it was a Hantu, let's listen. No, that's normal speed. Okay, well, see, this is why we... Oh, leave that shoe alone. This is why we did this first. So now we'll try the Onryo test, and I, I don't think I mentioned it since we've done Nightmare, but with the Onryo test, if the candle is lit and it uses the crucifix, it's not an Onryo. It's as simple as that, really. So, okay, let's go get... Let's drop this stuff. Two crucifixes, maybe another smudge in here, and, well, we need the lantern, so let's get two... Uh, I need to bring in two lanterns, but I only have three inventory slots. Let's bring in all of them, and I'll just come back for the other. Well, we didn't get off easy this time. It's not Revenant, and it's not Hantu. It's normal speed, so it's one of these. So maybe this time I'll get the Onryo test right, and that'll at least help me determine what it actually is. Now, do I need another one of these? Let's not. I'm gonna get all the smudges, I think. No, I do need motion sensor still, don't I? Let's drop one of these and grab the motion sensor. Then it's just uh, 25, which that'll probably be me using the uh, music box. Uh, the snow caught my attention for some reason. I guess I'm just excited for Christmas time. Alright, putting this down in the intersection. That should be good enough. Okay, that... Yeah, that motion sens sensor won't detect you. Now, I need to be working fast here. See, this is why I need to be working fast here. I can't tell if this is the lantern or my smudge. Okay. <laughs> I need to pay attention to this. How many inventory slots do I have? I have one. Here's the other crucifix. I'm gonna put it down here. Here's the other lantern. Light the other lantern. Maybe get a light on in this hallway? Alright, well... Okay, see, it blew out the thing and then didn't use the crucifix, so that leans, leads it to be Onryo. And every th third one it's supposed to hunt, so there's one. Also, I have a smudge. Okay, not an Onryo, see? So it is a Yure. If I'm right, yes, I mean, that would not happen. Oh. Oh my god, okay, well, I just smudged. See, I'm getting everything confused. Well, listen, you just got smudged, so you can't do anything about it. Oh, average sanity, firelight, and motion sensor. Okay, so then I need photos. Now, you used up that crucifix once. Oh, okay, there it was, burn crucifix. Oh, and, okay, you touched the door. See, this is the kind of opportunity I need. Yeah, my EMF all the way back here. What? I don't trust this EMF. What? They told me it touched. That's not a camera. Uh, oh well. What are you. I can't see what you're doing over here. Oh my god. I hate having four inventory slots. I will never get used to it. I really just need to be able to choose my inventory slots. That's not. Uh, you're right on top of these crucifixes. Okay. There was an interaction at least. Get these back on. I'm on a mission to farm these photos. Let me get these photos. Was that the same door? Yes, it was. You're making it easy on me. Now you're going insane. Well, there we go. All three star photos. We got the bone. This is another perfect game. Look, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I'd say we had a good visit with Edie here. So, with Nightmare, I do want to just kind of have games where we run through it and just kind of have that experience of learning, like, the different things. So, like, one thing is when you get the two evidences, there's always going to be, like, the scenarios of what ghost it could be. So when you get freezing ghost orbs, it could be these four. So, I think it's just about getting down all these scenarios and figuring... And just remembering the ghost types and the abilities, which is kind of hard to do. I know pretty much everything, it's just remembering it and pulling it out of my head. But alright, we're going to leave this one behind. This was a fun game on Tanglewood. Mainly, I did experience Nightmare, and that's what I really want to do with Nightmare is, you know, remember the Onryo test and get hunted and see if it's a Revenant or Haunting and stuff like that. So, that's why Nightmare is so different than 
Uh, professional. Professional is like just really fun, chill, like I mentioned before. And the nightmare is really where you really need to start learning some stuff about the ghosts. So, all right. Enough for me talking about this. Let's go back and see what our reward is. See, it still looks really good. That's another thing is some of these games, you know, they don't last, you know, super long. This one, it kind of just depends on what happens, but this is like a really standard nightmare game to me in 1700. Wow, 1700 with no daily bonuses. That's nice. I, I got to start going for perfect games more. So yeah, I think now we're finally getting into where I'm going to start grinding and learning the game. I, I've been wanting to like learn nightmare. That's why I'm trying to do all the small maps and keep that in rotation. But we're going to keep playing Point Hope as well and doing weeklies. So the weeklies are going to be like the longer videos and we're just going to be doing, you know, nightmare and professional and just seeing how things go. And I'm going to be continuing YouTube, of course. And, and doing YouTube videos until around Christmas time or, you know, December time. So then that's when I might start trying to stream. But I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to stream just then yet. But right now we're going to continue doing some pretty consistent videos. And I really want to just learn this game and f try and learn the game as much as I can before they start updating it and changing things like Bleasdale and... Uh, you know, Grafton reworks are next, so we really should be playing a lot of Bleasdale and Grafton to try and remember those maps before they go away. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.